This fucking phone, excuse my language, fucking phone. This is so good. I put it in a brand new one of the containers I found. This is chicken fried rice invasions. It's not cheap. It's like $6 a box. You get it at Walmart. I divided it up and I was going to give this half, this other half to somebody I work with. But I'm going to take this part home, give it to my husband, or maybe my dog a little bit of it. He might like that too. I didn't even think of that. I, even if I heat this up for my husband, I might give my dog like a big tablespoon of it. Because my dog does like rice like this and stuff once in a while. But this is so good. It comes in a big package. It really... You could use it as a side or whatever. It's so good. It's just so good. It's, I cannot speak enough about it. It is so good. Try it, guys. Try it. I about had it today already. I'm, I'm tired. And I'm getting tired now. So... <laughs> I don't know what that's for. I love you guys. I don't know. Maybe I might need it. I love you. Sorry, it's two videos because freaking thing. I touched something and it shut off. It's a piece of shit. I need a good phone and I need a GoPro is what I need. Eventually. We'll get there. We'll get there. Like my, my window on my door and my truck's costing more than the $180. It's going to be another 200 and some dollars, $300 for a motor and something else. So I don't know. Maybe I'll get lucky and I'll be under 100 I don't know. <clears throat> but my husband's got to do that yet too. And I want him to do that before he goes on Thursday. So, but um, I think it's supposed to warm up a little bit on, on Wednesday. But anyways, give me any of your tips and tricks on either sugar-free stuff or, st or like muffins or something that's low in sugar or some kind of uh, granola bars or something that you buy that's lower in sugar that tastes good. Give me some ideas. Give me some ideas. I was thinking of getting like an angel food cake and cutting up some fresh strawberries and putting some light Cool Whip on it. I thought that would be nice. And getting sugar-free pudding, sugar-free jellos, uh, a bunch of applesauce. That's all good stuff. What else is good? I don't know. Let me know. Help me out. Love you guys. Probably won't see you guys no more tonight. Um... I'm done. And somebody, I forgot their name. I'm so sorry. Guessed two of the songs for Name That Tune. You were good. It was Led Zeppelin and Amy Winehouse. Um, you know, uh, whatchamacallit, rehab. And try to make me go to rehab. I said, no, no, no. My ain't got the time. And my daddy says I'm fine. Make me go to rehab. I said, no, no, no. I know I'm stupid, but I can't help myself. Some, you know, God just hit me with a stupid stamp on my head. What are you going to do, you know? You accept it. Somebody said, why do you think Eminem is getting attacked to you? Okay, listen, let me tell you guys something. I used to hang around with my friend at the hip-hop shop at Seven Mile in Detroit. I used to wear designer clothes, Maurice Malone's clothes. Yeah, if, if, if Eminem talks to anybody, I have that in common with him. Hello? Why should he talk to me? Why should he talk to, like, a Billie Eilish or somebody young that has nothing in common with him? And supposedly my returning ass sister-in-law went to stinking Lincoln with him. So if I say these key words, Maurice Malone's clothes and stinking Lincoln and blah, 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 this is stuff he would know and he'd be like, Wow. You know? Yeah, I knew Maurice Malone that made those clothes and he went to Paris or something and he was got became famous, I guess. And I had a bunch of his sweatshirts and things back in the day when stuff was like it was expensive back then, like two hundred dollars for a sweatshirt back then, you know, like a designer Maurice Malone's clothes. So if anybody knows anything about that, drop a line here, let me know. And, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to put that out there. So, and I only live 15 minutes from, so you should contact me and say, hey, you're a nice old lady. We're close in age. Say, hey, you're cool as hell. I'm going to use you as a backup singer so my album will flop. Meaning me. I would screw up his album. Do you see what I'm saying? 
I'm just messing, but it would be, oh my God, what if somebody thought I was good enough to do something like that? Be somebody like, say a couple lines in their album or something? Oh my God, that would be so cool. I couldn't take it. I would poop all over myself. That's gross, but yeah. I said, no, no, no. My dad told me not to go to rehab. I said, no, no, no. And then it was Led Zeppelin. I forget the, the black song or whatever. Yeah. Oh, we need gas. Yes, imagine that. But, um, I'll have some name that tunes and stuff for you guys tomorrow. I am going to dumpster dive. I'll try to show you guys the kitties if I can and the disgusting, uh, um, laundry room that needs to be painted and cleaned up. It's, oh, it's a disgrace. I need to clean in there. I, I need to start washing the walls and all the ceilings. I'll get there. But anyways, I love you all. God bless you all. Help me out. Give me ideas about, you know, diet food or low sugar food. And stuff that's even just low sugar that tastes good that would fool you. Like any kind of like cake or like a dessert or something, you know? All right. I love you guys. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Like and subscribe. Or I will break your kneecaps. I'm not kidding with you, sons of bitches. I love you all. Give me ideas. Or have a great night. Bye. I'm getting stupid from being tired. And remember, thank you. Thank you, Valerie, and everybody else that has left me on their um, tablet and let it run. My watch hours are getting somewhere. They're actually getting somewhere now. Thank you. Thank you and thank you. And thank you. All right? Keep doing it. Thank you. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Subscribe. Bye.